This is Charlie Parsons for Boxing Social, an association with Forged Irish Stout and Empire Fight Store. Delighted to be joined here. Fight Week, press conference, a big, big bill, uh, headlined by Chantel Cameron, Katie Taylor. I'm here with Lucy Wildheart. How are you? I'm very good, thanks. All good, man. Let's talk a little bit about this fight. We saw last time out an excellent performance on uh, very, very short notice. I mean, people say 36 hours. We're not even sure if it was that against Michaela Mayer. Can you take much out of that? Obviously, a great performance and you show great heart in there, but not a full camp. I mean, it was funny, wasn't it? It was so short, but sometimes, you know, yeah, I probably could have been better if I had noticed. Um, but sometimes in boxing, you need to take these opportunities. I mean, you've got to be a risk taker. And I knew I could fight for 10 rounds, like even with my, my you know, my... Um, uh, when I, even if I haven't sparred for, for months, I can do that. But, you know, imagine if, if I've had notice what that would be. <laughs> that was good. Do you feel like you've grown as a fighter because of it? I mean, 10 rounds on such a short amount of time, you say that if you had that notice, but even just what you've learned in such a small amount of time in that fight, you feel like that's given you another gear and another level? Yeah, you know, I I know now I suppose a bit to be on this level. You know, I even won some couple of rounds in, in that fight, and it was a, it was a great fight. Um, so I know where I'm supposed to be, and it is here. And I love the public there, and I can just imagine the audience out here in Ireland. I literally can't wait to hear them as well. It's like I think there's it's more people here than the Cop Box Arena. So. I hope it'd be loud. loud. Well, you're in for a, a tremendous atmosphere on Saturday night. Last time around, it was fantastic. Let's talk Sky Nicholson. She's the person you're fighting. She's got that WBC interim belt. Uh, no strangers that she's targeting that Amanda Serrano fight. Do you feel like she's overlooking you potentially? She, she shouldn't. Um, I think you should only look one fight at a time and then think about next, right? So, but I suppose all the pressure's on her. I, I just need to, you know, have fun and do my thing. Like all the pressure's on her. And then she, if she want to look further, that, that's up to her. But I think she should think about this fight. She's always sort of, she was a good amateur and she's got that amateur style in the pros, sort of quite long. And she's never had a stoppage as a professional, she's certainly a boxer mover. What have you seen of her and what can you take out of um, sort of her previous performances? I mean, I like her. She's, she's a nice girl, you know. She speaks well, she does a thing well. It's, it's not much to say. She's a nice girl. And the question is, is she ready for a real fight? Is she? That's the question. You say, is she ready for a real fight? Does that mean you're going to go in there and try and stick it on her, rough her up, maybe in ways that she's not seen before? I, I'm not going to give away how I'm going to be her, but I'm telling you, I'm going to be her. All right, well, just finally from me, uh, it's going to be a huge night in Dublin. What's your message to your fans who's watching? And also, what can we expect to see Saturday night? Your hand raised? Uh, to all the fans, thank you. Thank you for, for supporting women's boxing, this show and myself. And thanks to all of those girls coming around and wanting me to sign and take pictures with them yesterday. I love you all. Lucy, thank you for speaking to us at Boxing Social.